There are 36 million people living with HIV all over the world. It isn't the death sentence that it once was just 30 years ago, because 19 million of those people have access to antiretroviral therapy, or ART, to manage their disease. But ART isn't infallible. It relies on a complex cocktail of ingredients to keep the virus at bay. Just a few missed pills can leave the body vulnerable, because just like all viruses, HIV mutates rapidly. It builds resistance. In some cases, it already has. And it could evolve into a strain that is theoretically untreatable. A World Health Organization report released this year has warned of the increasing trend of drug-resistant HIV. We need to be prepared. We need to identify brand new targets for these drugs. But to do that, we need to look inside cells on a scale we have not been able to before. And it is Peijin Zhang who is making the invisible visible. She is a structural biologist, a world-renowned leader in the cutting-edge field of cryo-electron microscopy. Cryo-EM samples are frozen so that beams of electrons, rather than the visible light of traditional microscopes, can create crystal clear snapshots of a moment in time. With a cryo-electron microscope, we can now see the world at one million times magnification. The microscopes Peijun uses are so sensitive, the rumble of a distant car could disrupt them. So powerful, a human hair appears as wide as a football pitch. In the 20 years since I began working with CryoEM, I have seen incredible progress. Today, it is so powerful that we can make out the individual atoms of the HIV virus. And these atoms could hold the secret to defeating HIV for good. For the first time ever, my team of researchers have been able to reveal the structure of one fundamental part of HIV, the viral capsule. It's the casing that holds the genetic material of HIV, uses to infect healthy T cells and multiply. It's essential to the survival of the virus and its latest weakness. This work has given us a fresh target in our fight against HIV, it's our best hope yet of a new type of therapy that could bypass drug resistance and change the lives of people with HIV forever. I've managed the treatment of people living with HIV in London and in Africa, all of whom live with the prospect of taking tablets every day for a lifetime. Because of Peijin's work, we now have a fresh understanding of the virus and its life cycle in human cells so that instead of having to take a pill every single day, it may soon be possible for the people I treat to only need one injection every two months. This will greatly reduce the risk of missed pills leading to drug resistance. As new strains of HIV develop in the years to come, strains that are resistant to other types of ART will need more new drugs to keep them at bay. And completely new viruses could emerge to threaten humanity. Peijin's contribution to our understanding of HIV could protect against these future pandemics. In the fight against HIV, progress is being made every single day, inside and outside of the laboratory. Peijin's work with cryo-EM is just one piece of the puzzle, but it could be one that saves lives.